Here we got a new roleplay game called Deep River Ontario, or in fact, City of Deep River Ontario. Well, to be honest, the game itself looks pretty interesting. I have noticed a few free modals, but that's fine. As long as you don't make everything out of free modals, it's fine, alright? Well, I got a few pictures to show you today of this game. I find some to be really interesting, such as this one right here. We have a police officer stopping this vehicle up front at gunpoint so that's very cool to see we also got a cop running inside this building right here or at least standing outside with a glock out so this looks super cool in my opinion however i do find a pretty strange thing with this and that is the fact that ontario is actually in canada and not in the united states so i don't see why they are using the california highway patrol logo up here <laughs> that's a bit strange but maybe canada uses the same thing no, that's impossible. But I would at least recommend switching the text from California Highway Patrol to something that has to do with the actual police departments in Ontario, if you understand what I mean. But otherwise than that, it's pretty cool. Here we got a super cool car, which seems to have an openable trunk that is really interesting. I really do like how it looks here. I'm not too sure though, does Canada really have like a desert terrain? You know what, I'm, I'm so confused. Oh wait, maybe there is a desert in Ontario, Sandbanks Provincial Park. Alright, well then that might make a bit more sense then I guess. I actually had no idea there was an actual desert there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's important to know because now we have a bit of an idea why there was a desert up there. So that's good. Here we got some really cool police cars. I like the ELS they have used here and it looks pretty good. And also, we always love to see some Crown Vicks in the game. And also the Dodge Chargers are nice. To be honest, this is pretty good. I wouldn't say that it is something too special because, you know, most roleplay games have these kind of police cars. But the ELS looks good, so it's fine. Fine. As long as we have working good ELS, then I'm I'm good with the game. <laughs> Down here we have a tow truck towing a car. I don't know why, but I believe I've seen a very similar car on Roblox before. The car being towed there. I'm not too sure if it's a free model or not or something, but it definitely looks good as a broken car model. <laughs> oh, so you can actually rob ATMs in game by holding E. That's cool. California Highway Patrol? What? Canada doesn't even have California Highway Patrol. What is this? I'm confused. Oh, wow, this looks really hot though. I like the police car in front here. Maybe the game itself isn't based in Ontario. Maybe this game is actually based in California, but I just have no idea. You never know because I don't think they have California Highway Patrol all the way up in Canada. <laughs> Here we got some farm fields looking real good here. Here we got two tow vehicles or DOT vehicles more like. And these actually look super good. I like these two. Here we seem to have a fire department of some kind. It definitely seems like one. Yeah, you can see some of the interior here. This is definitely a fire department. I gotta ask the owner if this is actually called what it is called. Because I don't believe it. How is this possible? I myself was starting to get a bit unsure here. But he said that the game doesn't actually have an official name yet. Meaning that they are just using this name for now. However, I don't understand why they even chose the name in the first place when Ontario is in Canada and they decided to add California Highway Patrol. Man, you must rethink this a lot. That's for sure. Alright, well, it's cool, I guess. I'm gonna have to say this now. I believe this game is gonna need some more improvements because I feel like there is a little bit too much not being fixed here really first of all the name obviously of the game cannot be ontario since that's based in canada and this game is actually based in california so they gotta change that first of all second of all they should definitely try to replace the free models in the future because i do spot a few free models and those are pretty not so nice to have it in a nice upcoming roleplay game if you understand what i mean but the game itself looks really good right now so i'm gonna have to share it to you guys because I'm too nice to not share it. Alright. Well, to be honest, he could keep the deep river part. But Ontario, I don't know about that. That's not gonna fit because that's in Canada, if you understand. So it's definitely not gonna fit the environment with all the highway patrols and stuff from California. But I'm gonna have to say that the game is looking really cool right now. I do like how it looks. It has some really cool features that I like to see. And the game itself is starting to come out 
pretty nicely here. So you guys leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I think I'm going to end the vid there. Hopefully this got you interested in this game. Maybe you can help the developers out by giving them some ideas. Because the game could definitely be improved some. But other than that, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next vid. Bye.